Alright guys, um, um, in this video I will show you the new annihilation uh, in uh, CN, it should be annihilation 14, 14 or 15, I don't remember, anyways the new one, and it's called uh, Linger, Lingering Chang, Changshu Trails, it should, should be this name, I mean the letters are really hard to read, anyways this new map, the enemies are the enemies from um, the Ling event where you can get Ling and Mr. Lee and um, operators uh, really strong against them are operators with uh, damage over the time for example Thorns because Thorns from the talent has the poison damage blue poison, blue poison can also work which is the sniper Aosta, Aosta is really strong as well because of the talent which is uh, when attacking uh, unblock the enemy also those enemies cannot be blocked so basically yeah the best unblock the enemies and every second Deal arts damage, so damage over the time. You just need a little one host just for the talent. It doesn't care if you have a max level or not, it doesn't care the attack. Or Ethan. Ethan is a force that you can get from the shop really cheap. I don't I forgot the price, but it's really good with the skill one. You even skill one level one is okay because skill one is does damage over time every second. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of other operators can do yeah are strong uh, just uh, damage over time. Even um, Sculptor, where is Sculptor here? Sculptor third skill, for example. But I'm using here second skill. Anyway, so uh, this is a strategy. This video will have the AFK strategy, just to clear it once because you know with the skip ticket, uh, just to clear it with uh, 400 kills without support unit. And um, yeah, if you cannot do it, just clear it once to get all the rewards, then go back to Lumen and use the tickets on Lumen Annihilation 3. Just use the AFK ticket. And uh, anyways, so um, this is the squad I'm gonna use with uh, Silish to get DP, Thorns, Blades, the second skill, uh, Seria. Uh, also, I will not use the module. Okay, take off the module. Pemetta, third skill, Sculptor, second skill, Gladia, so he's a puller, first skill. Gladia is strong because she's a free and she can stack the first skill. Then Aosta for the bleed damage, and Ethan. Last four slots, actually I need one extra operator because when I did it, I mean it's fine because on this map you can leak enemies. What, the, what do I mean? If you kill all those normal enemies, but if you leak the those things, the summonings, is fine because you get all the Orundum after you kill 400 enemies and those enemies doesn't count inside those 400 just don't leak more than 9 because if you leak 10 you will lose you know, the, the run so you can leak up to 9 of them so yeah but I will kill off the, all of them so I will take with this second skill showing you how to use them so yeah, those are the operators you still have 2 slots or 3 slots to bring more operators to use and uh, yeah let's just go so let me show you inside the run how this strategy work so immediately Salish here to get the P, Thorns here, Serra here now use the skill to get the P. all right my main job now is to deploy Fiametta and use the skill this one don't worry let the Salish kill it two hits that's why I deployed the Silage to our right side. Okay, Fiametta. Sculptor. Instead of a Sculptor, you can use any Medic, but the Sculptor is a really, really good combo with um, Fiametta because it can uh, trigger her maximum buff from the talent. And uh, yeah, also Sculptor will give her a bit of buff, so she will be able to kill mo main of most of the enemies, because later the enemy with a lot of attack will spawn here. But they will stop stop moving here, so we have all the time to kill them with someone from here. Here we go, game over. Don't deploy this one yet. Pull her here, face not upside. If you leaked someone, so they managed to go to the portal, or you use the extra operators you took, or just instead of deploying the puller, we deploy Ethan first here. Then you deploy the puller to pull this one. Also, if they die um, at the main phase uh, into a hole, all the summonings will die as well into the hole. Just to watch. You can see those summonings uh, will fall into the hole as well. Blades are here, face on the upside. And uh, 
because my operators are maxed level, so they can tank more and Seria can heal more, it's fine for me. But maybe for you, you will need a medic here to help heal those three operators, or just to use a Seria skill one. Up to you. If you're not sure, you can bring um, a medic here to heal those three. Now Asta here, face on right, left side. Just for the build damage, so Elite 1, level 1, just to unlock the talent is more than enough. You don't even need to, to level up the skills. And... Let me get DP. Also, some enemies, some of those uh, summonings later, will AFK here and here. Those three tiles will AFK here. So if you have blue poison, you can deploy blue poison here, face on the bottom side to kill them early, earlier. But it's not really necessary, to be honest. Up to you. So basically, for me, it's done. After I deploy Widi, it's okay. Because after uh, we did the previous tries I did, uh, Ethan was pretty lucky. So he successfully binded with the trait, uh, the talent, uh, some enemies. Uh. So the poison damage from Aosta and um, Ethan uh, killed them. But. Uh, but if you're not lucky enough, um, you will probably need someone else to deal more hits. Another good operator is, for example, Golden Glow, second skill, so you can FK here, second skill, or here, up to you. And uh, Golden Glow, each attack, each attack deals a triple attack, because uh, Golden Glow is herself plus her two drones, so it's a three attack. But if you have a pusher like we did, yeah, just use the pusher. Where? Basically face here. My weed is second skill. So when those thingy come, I can push back. So they will keep uh, stay on this area. So I can keep uh, bleed them and uh, poison them so they will die from the, that damage. So I repeat, you can substitute, I mean at least have it and I mean it is free. Level 0 Ethan can... I mean, le Elite 0, level 1 Ethan can also work. Just to have the skill 1. And, um, yeah, then you, just to bring someone who can deal a lot of... Uh, a lot of damage over the time. And if he's AoE, he's even better. Here. To kill all the summonings. You have 4 slots. Because if you have those operators, if you don't count the medic because your operators are stronger as well, you have 4 operators. If you have medic here, to heal those three, you still have three slots. Plus Ethan, yeah, three operators. You should you should be able to bring someone from your your how is called mm, yeah your operator list to kill them. So yeah, I deployed uh, Widi for later. That's all I need. So I can FK till the end. Oh, 
Alright guys, so this is the last wave. As you can see, here I'm having some problem of the HP battle sign, so my operators are maxed level, they can do it. For you, you probably need uh, help from a medic, but uh, yeah, up to you. Depending on your level of your operators. Also on left side, as you can see, 400 enemies on 400. If you want, you can even lick all those enemies, but uh, you don't have enough HP. So yeah, you must kill them. But you can leak up to 9 of those uh, sp spawning things, not the main enemies, huh? you cannot leak the main enemies, but the spawnings, yes. As you can see, Doza has a lot of HP, so you need to hit them a lot of times. To be honest, um, Weedy plus uh, Ethan or Weedy plus um, Aosta can do it uh, here left side. But um, yeah, I used all those three operators just to show you the choices you can deploy here. Anyways, that's all. Okay, yeah, I did uh, 1000. I didn't... This week I didn't use any of the AFK tickets because <laughs> I got all 1800 by trying the strategy. Also here, let's collect everything. We need to collect all bottom for this. Actually, it's fine, yeah. Only... How many eight rewards collect so that's all guys hope this video helped you to clear this stage with the afk strategy thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye